Hey, welcome back to the show. Today is May 30th, 2017. As you might remember from last week, from now on, all the links that I comment on these news will not be listed under my description, but on my website as a blog post. So feel free to check it out down there. I'm sorry that last week was a bit of a mess and I hope you enjoy the news this week. So Photography Fair Fotokina changes its dates from being biannual to being every year. This means that 2016 there was a Fotokina, there's going to be one in 2018 in September and then they're changing to May and it's going to be 2019 May, 2020 May and they're going to try to expand their market to not only photography. I have a feeling that has something to do with uh, smartphones being such a photography based community and maybe they're trying to open towards that market. I'll leave the link below to, um, well in the blog post to a article on Appog where they say all the dates and the changes. A few weeks back I mentioned um, some results about Cinestill 800 in 120 film and those shots were shot by a friend Haworth who had a 6x14 camera and this week I'm featuring a 3D printed 6x14 but this is a way more refined version. If you look at the pictures you'll see that it's not only yellow which I think he painted with a special paint but it looks like way more like better finish basically. So yeah, if you're interested in doing your own camera, you can check the link in the blog post. Also the fair in Bievres in France is coming up. It's going to be June 3rd and 4th. If you don't know about this fair, it's all about secondhand gear and there are some nice um, items there usually. It's based in France. You can get a train from Paris and I left the links below, well not below, in the article for the website and the press release so you can check it out. And the bad news this week comes again from Fujifilm who have discontinued 4x5 and 8x10 Fuji Acros. Acros 100 is a black and white film that has a great um, reciprocity failure which won't start till after 120 seconds and this says that it will probably stop being sold in 2019 which being so far ahead I think what they've probably done is produce a big amount of this film and have it stocked in either freezers or something like it. So if you are a big fan of Acros 100 in sheet film, I highly recommend you stock up before it's gone. Also Fuji Acros in 35 and 120 will remain at least for now. As I mentioned last week, uh, camera manufacturer Intrepid has finally come out with a Kickstarter for their 8x10 and not only have they been successful but it was in 12 minutes. They were asking only for 18,000 pounds. They managed to get it at, as I said, 12 minutes and they are right now over like 120,000 pounds. They said it that they're not buying um, any extra parts, only bigger machinery to build these bigger parts. So that's why their goal wasn't a high goal. So you can check it out. You can still get the camera. They have like 25 or 24 more days in their campaign. And they also came out with a film holder, which is 45 pounds, which is a great start for an 8x10 film holder. Lomography has also announced this week that they're coming out with a new refined version of the Lomo Chrome Purple. And this is a C41 but, um, color film that has like a different color cast to it. It's kind of based on the Aerochrome but that was supposed to be developed as C41, I mean sorry, E6. Some people cross process it and stuff like that and it would give like uh, inverted colors, greens would turn red, um, skins would go yellow and things like that. Um, but now we have Lomo Chrome that kind of based their film on that have a more refined film. Also they said that it will be um, a more of a true speed 400 ISO instead of like it used to not be so much a 400. So you can still shoot it at ISO 100, 200 or 400. Kickstarter for Film Lab is still going on. It's already uh, funded at 135% so it's going to happen. And Abe has been working on a few refinements for the color cast to kind of support the project while the campaign's still open. I'll leave a link so you guys can check the improvements on basically the color cast and the shots. Also I didn't know but maybe you guys knew Instax has a Instax mini black frame. If you guys are into having different frames for your Instax film you might want to check it out. Also you usually get like uh, impossible film to make uh, special edition frames. I've seen the pink frame, I've seen black frame, I've seen silver frame. 
So if you want to have a different look, I recommend you check either the Instax line if that's what you have or the Lomography if you have the old traditional Polaroid or their new i1. For those who are out of Europe, you probably don't know who Maco Direct is, but it's one of the biggest um, online film stores, film, paper, anything analog, it's there. They have great prices. And now they're gonna start having uh, gear, secondhand gear like KEH or Keck or B&H or other stores. This uh, gear has been refurbished and has a 12 month warranty. I checked it out yesterday. I have to say the prices are not exactly the market prices, but you do have that 12 month uh, warranty. So that does give some, you know, peace of mind when you're buying gear. So that's it for this week's news. Um, thanks for watching. As always, if you have any information you want to send to me, check the email below. Thanks for watching. See you next week.